Section 10, recognise the equation of a graph from its curve. Question 1, let's have a look at how to do these ones. OK, so we're looking to find the value of A. Now these questions are quite easy, just substitution questions. So when x equals 3, y is equal to 18. When x equals 3, y is equal to 18, I can sub that. So 18 equals A times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 9A equals 18. A is equal to 2. And that's question 1. OK, question 2. Very similar. This time, instead of AX squared, I'll call it KX squared. And we're looking to find K. And it passes this time, the curve does, through 2, 16. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 16. I can sub that straight in. When y is equal to 16, x is equal to 2. So I'll get 16 equals 4k, and k is equal to 16 over 4. That's 4. Just a straightforward substitution question, very easy. Question 3, similar again. Let's have a look. So we pass through the point minus 2, 24, and it's y equals qx squared. Find q. When x equals minus 2, y equals 24, sub it straight in. So 24 equals q times minus 2 squared. Be careful when you square minus 2, that will give you 4. So that's 24 equals 4q. q is equal to 24 divided by 4, and q is equal to 6. Example 4. So just more practice, the same kind of thing. This time y equals tx squared. So I'm just getting used to having the unknown as different numbers. That's not really a big deal. So this time, I've got the point is x, the point is minus 480, so when x is minus 4, y is 80, and sub that straight in. When y equals 80, x equals minus 4. Minus 4 squared, be careful, that's 16t is equal to 80. t equals 80 over 16, be careful with that, just take your time, 16 fits into 80. 5 times t is equal to 5. Example 5. Okay, we're going through the point minus 1, 8. And it's y equals px squared. Find the value of p when x equals minus 1, y equals 8. When y is equal to 8, x is equal to minus 1. So 8 equals minus 1 squared is 1, so that's 1p, p is equal to 8. Example 6. OK, this time we've got a parabola that's been inverted, turned upside down, so that goes through 1 minus 4. Y equals AX squared, find A, that's a substitution again, where I see X, replace it with 1, where I see Y, replace it with minus 4, so where I see Y, I replace it with minus 4, where I see X, I replace it with 1. 1 squared is 1, that's A times 1, A is equal to minus 4. OK, one more of these type. Y equals AX squared, find A, X equals 2, when Y equals minus 40, when Y equals minus 40, x is equal to 2. So 2 squared is 4. 4 equals minus 40. A equals minus 40 over 4, and that's minus 10. Example 7. OK, slightly different. So the parabola does not cut the origin this time. This time I've got the point to 13. And I'm told that the equation is y equals ax squared plus 1, and I'm looking for a. So it's just substitution again. 
where I see x, replace it with 2, where I see y, replace it with 13. So 13 equals a times 2 squared plus 1. 13 equals 2 squared is 4, so that's 4a plus 1. That's a simple equation. 4a plus 1 is 13. 4a is 12. And 12a is equal to 12 over 4a is equal to 3. Let's try two more of these. This time I've got a parabola which goes to 338. The equation of the parabola is y equals ax squared plus 2. Where I see x, replace it with 3. Where I see y, replace it with 38. So 38 equals a times 3 squared plus 2. That's 9a plus 2 equals 38. Simple equation. 9a equals 36, and a is equal to 36 over 9, and that is 4. OK, let's try another one. OK, so we go through the point minus 3, minus 7, and it's y equals ax squared plus 2. When I see x, I can replace it with minus 3. When I see y, I can replace it with minus 7. So minus 7 equals a times minus 3 squared plus 2. Put a bracket around that, you're squaring the negative. Be careful. Minus 3 squared is 9. That's 9a plus 2. 9a plus 2 equals minus 7. 9a equals minus 9, and a is equal to minus 1. So here's a couple of quick explanations of how to do these ones. Where it's the graph of a completed square, and you need to identify p and q, or it might be a and b, or something else. Right, so... The number that's inside the square bracket is to do with the horizontal shift from the origin. The number outside the bracket is the vertical shift from the origin. Now, all you need to remember are these ones, and we're going to concentrate first on this one up here, is for the horizontal shift, if you're going in the positive direction, then the number is negative, and if it's in the negative direction, it's positive. So for the horizontal shift from the origin, I've moved along four units. In the positive direction, so that means that P is equal to minus four. Now Q represents the vertical shift, and we just go with what's intuitive there. So if you move up to, then Q is positive 2. So you think counterintuitively for along the way, but intuitively for up or down. So let's now have a look at this one. <laughs> so we're moving in the positive direction along to get to here. So that means P is positive direction of 4 units. So P is minus 4, but for vertical, we're moving down the way, down the way, negative, think intuitively, Q is equal to minus 4. OK, the next one we're going to look at is this one. So along in the negative direction by 1 to minus 1, so along the negative direction by minus 1, so P is plus one Q we're moving up, think intuitively this time, two. One more. So along in the negative direction to minus three. So for this one, P would be plus three and down minus two, Q is minus two. Okay, so we're 